interfaith minister and wedding officiant here in New York City. Hi, I'm Muriel Saldalamacchia and I'm a French international wedding planner. Welcome to your favorite wedding escape channel name, Getting Married in New York City. Today we are pleased to show you a place here, a gem in Central Park. It is Conservatory Garden. And Mary Rose, can you share about its location? Well, it's located, its main entrance is at 105th, East 105th and 5th Avenue. And what is the spirit of this place? Well, the Conservatory Gardens is six acres and features three distinct gardens. A charming French garden to the north that features spring blooming tulips and chrysanthemums in autumn. At the center of that garden is a fountain adorned by a statue of three dancing maidens. There's also an English style garden that's very intimate that features a statue of two children said to be depicting the children from a very famous and popular children's book, The Secret Garden. They stand at the end of an arabesque water pond, lily pool, and uh, with lots of shade. Then at the center is an Italianesque garden with an expansive lawn and a 12 foot high jet fountain. On either side of that lawn are, air, are alleys of crabapple trees that bloom in the spring pink and white. Just west of the fountain is a wisteria pergola where you can find shade, shelter, and lots of beautiful benches where you can relax. Well, it's very difficult to have this video short. <laughs> <laughs> There's just so much that's so, so beautiful here. Yes. And Mary Rose, can you share about its history? Well, the beautiful iron gate that adorns the main entrance was fashioned in Paris in 1894. It originally stood at the main entrance of the Vanderbilt Mansion at 58th and 5th Avenue, where currently Bergdorf Goodman stands. And how to make that place special for a wedding? Well, no matter where you stand in the garden, you're sure to get postcard picture-perfect photos. Uh, yeah. Make your grand entrance at the main entrance and head south to the intimate ceremony and then continue on through the Wisteria Pergola for an expansive panoramic view. And then stroll along the crab apple tree lined alley where you can lose all space and time. Well, to conclude, we both agree to say that because each garden has its own distinct character, as well as the surrounding alleys, you will be hot pressed to choose a favorite spot here in the garden. And now for the bonus question. Yes, the bonus question today. According to Central Park Conservancy, when does wisteria, wisteria typically bloom in Central Park? And second time of the question, how much can a wisteria wine grow in one year? Let's meet up in one of the next video on Getting Married in New York City channel. And be sure to subscribe so that you can receive our bonus videos. See you soon. Bye-bye.